Hello. Hello. Welcome to Arc Reactors. I'm John. Yep, and I'm Greg. And we are on season 35 of Amazing Race. And we're here to walk you through everything on screen and off screen, baby. <laughs> we had a lot of fun doing this and going to go through episodes one and two this week. Yeah, it was super fun to watch it for the first time. John and I, for the first episode, we had a big watch party with all of our friends. So seeing it for the first time was amped. The second episode, just as fun. And we're just going to talk about it. Yeah, we got a lot, got a lot of thoughts. Got a lot of thoughts. Yeah, a lot of thoughts. And we, I'm in California. He's in New York. So we're going to do this remote when we can. And when we're together, we're going to do it together when we can. But let's get going. Let's just get going right into it. Episode That's one. Right. Episode one, man. I mean, yeah, so obviously it starts off. Us in front of the Hollywood sign, epic place to start off. We start off with uh, that first roadblock. Johnny and I, we have uh, a little system for how we're going to choose who does the roadblock if we can't choose. It's just kind of random, TBH. Uh, the first roadblock I was just ready to do. So I kind of took the leap of faith on that one. Yeah, despite being like semi afraid of heights, he was down for it. And it was clearly a height thing. We got all the, the vibes. Yeah. But Gregor was down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, I really was like debilitated by heights coming into this, but mm -hmm. I yeah, didn't 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 phase me too too much. Um, but yeah, then the puzzle the puzzle went really well. I really enjoyed the puzzle more than um, well. Yeah, yeah, it did feel it did feel good to get it quickly. Um, I mean, for obvious reasons, but uh, yeah, I mean, just coming down and seeing that we were the first person there, it was it's just such a great way to start the race. I mean, it's a high that you just can't you can't even replicate some way just starting the race in the first place so felt really good felt really good especially waiting down there and just not knowing what was going to happen but seeing you come out like you all miss me just milli rocking to seeing gregory <laughs> come out i was so happy and we had the honor of ripping the first clue to go to our first new country which was height and it tells us we're going to bangkok thailand which we've actually already been to together on a double date trip so it was pretty good to kind of find out we were hitting that up again yeah, yeah, that's super epic. Super yeah. epic. Um, and then so a lot of people ask as well, like how we came out of that roadblock in first place and then showed up to the Buddha temple, like what, on the sixth? You know, at least like towards oh, the, last, the first flight. Yeah. yeah. So what happened, Johnny? Yeah, it's taxi troubles. And I don't think the producers wanted to bore you with it, but we had a taxi driver, you know, from Bangkok, has Google Maps open, makes the same wrong turn three times, three times on the highway. Uh, we had to pull over for directions and I'm blowing up. <laughs> so I'm almost grateful they didn't put it there, but it definitely added some confusion and got us a little late. Also, we got there and all the other teams were looking at some woman's phone for directions on how to get to the pier of boats. She had the wrong directions, but we didn't know that. And so we just like glanced at it and took off and went to her phone's destination. And that was not the right pier. So we had to backtrack. Turns out the right pier was like right next to the clue box. So shame on us for trying to copy other people's work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't feel too good getting there, getting there late, but it was really funny to hear what Morgan and Lena had to do. Cause when we ripped open that clue, we saw that there was express pass and everybody and their mothers was amped to, to hear that there was express pass. But then we went straight to the other groups and we were like, Hey, like did, did people do the express pass? And we found out that they need some bugs which they, we knew that they had to do that in the past, but we didn't know what it looked like and seeing it for the first time, it looked, I don't, I don't think you would have done it. I'm, it looked, I'm, I don't think I would have done it genuinely. I think I would have logic my way to say, we can still, we can still try to win this leg without the express pass. We, we don't need it technically. So yeah. uh, I would have been, I think on the back burner for this one. So yeah, I, I, I definitely would have done it. I, I mean, I definitely would have done it. Like I think it's people underestimate how much you would do for a million dollars, for a million dollars. It's just some bugs. Like it's it's not like it's poisonous, right? Like it's it's edible. It's something you can eat. But they did a good job. They did they did as good as a job as someone can do while they're eating a tarantula. Yeah. 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 So then yeah, I mean we kind of bounced around a lot of the different watts after that. Like it was just like going from watt to watt to watt to watt, like different temples. Uh, but then it came to our first detour, which is what Johnny and I were really excited about because we love working together and doing little puzzles together. Mm -hmm. and yeah it was between what spa 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 day and sword, sword play and, yeah sword play and spa day and the way we choose it is we actually in our notebook had a ranking of the different types of detours and what our preference would be to get out the quickest and so at the top of it was what you typically see as like 
a fear factor type challenge or a thrill challenge that you have to guts to do it, but it's over quick versus something like Neil in the Haystack where you don't really control where your placement's going to be or puzzles that might take a while, but we're also pretty good at puzzles. So we did all of that in a ranked list and just kind of like glanced at our list and was like, well, what's at the top? And it's Spade. If you can endure something, it's probably going to be quicker than having to learn something. Uh, and that's what kind of caused us to do spa day. I was a little, a little afraid that it might be like tickling or heat or leeches, like any of that kind of stuff. But thankfully, uh, it was just like me not being flexible and them just trying to push my limbs to different places. Yeah, that's true. It could have been one of those, those things where you like put your feet into the, the water with piranhas and they like eat the dead skin. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like eat your dead skin. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that would have been better or worse, but yeah. They, they, would have been it um yeah i don't know i mean i we i definitely think it was the right choice sword play i mean joe and ian killed it i mean i think it was a matter of like if you were able to learn it really honestly like i don't know how long it took them in real time in the show it looked like they they learned it really really quickly um but it's just it's like you know having two hands what is it two hands in a bush one in a hand one hand one bush of hands Bush, <laughs> bird, something like we knew how long the the spot it would take. The sword play wasn't one hundred percent sure, so I, I I definitely think we took the right choice there. Yeah, I think if we were farther behind, we might have to do sword play just to like try to leapfrog another team. But spot day going at the same rate as everyone else, it's fine. We yeah. had the pleasure of being in the same room as Todd and Ashley when Todd gave his wait, 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 and we. Shut up. <laughs> we shut up right after that because uh, we didn't want to have the same fate. But it was it was a tough watch. Not going to lie. It was a tough watch. Yeah. Yeah. We felt really bad. Yeah. We, 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 we yeah. We went quiet real quick. Yeah. But we yeah, didn't feel that bad. bad at the, didn't feel that bad at the finish. Finish. Mat. Like we got there third, which like considering like going first and then slipping to like six or so, and then kind of climbing our way back. I was pretty happy with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and at the end of the day, too, with the choices, it's just a matter of how you get, like, the, your direction and getting there. That's the one thing the race just really doesn't show, obviously, because there's just so much that they have to show. But yeah. so much of the race is just getting to the place. Like, even if you chose Spa Day, but you couldn't find it, it's not going to help you at all, right? Like, the challenge only helps you if you can get to the challenge. You can't get there, then you're not going to do anything. So, you know, some people some people kind of struggle. We, we've we struggled at some points during the race with, with finding places, but luckily we were able to find that one quite quick. Yeah. Yeah. And third, there we go. Third in third out. So we rip our clue. It's now leg two. We find out we're probably sticking around Thailand and the clue tells us to go to this Watt and then to go to the can near the canal. And so Gregory and I are like, all right, we're just going to Google this Watt. If it's near a canal, we're, we're Gucci. We're good. And we do just that. We give it to our taxi driver and we like mention that it's in Salaya, but figure, hey, we have the data points we need. Got the Watt name, got the canal. But we get there and <laughs> we're like, there are teams who definitely left before us. Like we should see something going on here, but it was desolate. It was desolate and we were getting scared. I don't know how you felt, but I was definitely shaking in my boots, especially as we like started really leaving the area <laughs> and, and starting to think, should we go down a block, two blocks? And it's like, that that doesn't sound right. Yeah, because a lot of times right. you, you pull up to a roadblock or detour and you at least see other teams, you might see camera mm -hmm. crew, you see some sort of sign of something. We saw nothing. It was empty, absolutely empty. So yeah, I was, I was feeling the same way. I was just nervous. Yeah. But then, <laughs> Our taxi driver, yeah, he just, just, just far. There's nothing. You didn't even say like where. Yeah, I mean, motion of like, just that little plane motion. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was debilitating. And like you know, when you're looking back on it, you're like, ah, it's not that big a deal. You guys were like, we were probably like an hour and a half ahead of all the other teams. Like all you gotta do is not be last. We were probably fine, but in the moment, whoo, man, that's a scary feeling. Yeah. And to hear that the, the real Watt is 40 minutes away, like that just in amazing race time sounds like forever. And you don't know how other teams are going to do. You don't know what's the challenge. Like we might be bad at the challenge. Thankfully, you were great. So, um, yeah, it's a tough position to be in for sure. And an embarrassing one, too. <laughs> it really is. It's just like like two. Oh, my gosh. But yeah. So we pull up, we pull up to the roadblock. It is, um, I guess I forget the name of it. 
But Johnny's not big on like, as, as you saw with the <laughs> the uh, the bugs as well. He's not big with like the the slimy stuff or like the gross stuff. And it said that there was like catfish infested waters, and that we needed to make bundles of flowers. So um, I think we just decided it, it might be better for me to do this one. And I'm really glad he did. He killed it <laughs> when he came back on that boat. I was I was really talking to like. Todd and Morgan just like, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Ashley? Is it going to be Lena? And I see that yellow freaking shirt on that boat. I, I flipped. I flipped. I uh, yeah. was really, really happy to see it. And just like puts us back in the game. We weren't out of the game, but it was like, okay, we've restored our good our good faith in, in third place. So Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I felt that going into the challenge too, because I, I mm -hmm. knew we were behind. I knew we lost 40 minutes. You should have seen me get in that water. I got in that water and like, I was like an Olympic swimmer. Like I was really mm -hmm. through. I did mm. my because they give you little boots for the for the lotus flowers because they're incredibly thorny at the bottom, and I you know I was just trying to go as quick as possible, so I kind of like just threw out the boots. I was like I don't even need these because I kept losing them because it was just so muddy. Yeah. Um, but my feet got so torn up. I like I was trying. Uh, to yeah, after that <laughs> leg, <laughs> his feet and every other person who went through that water was just tattered up, like nasty looking and. The, the race is not like giving any reparations for that. <laughs> like yeah. you, you put your body on the line and I, we all salute you. Yeah. 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 Jeez. But it, it, it was actually a fun challenge though. I liked kind of going mm. through the water. I liked putting the, the thing together. Like I said, in the race, like I was, it was kind of nice getting there last because everybody else has kind of already figured out a lot of the kinks that you need to figure out. Like when you're first to the roadblock, you got to figure out like what they like, what they don't like. I showed up. I was hearing people take fails, why they got fails, like seeing examples of what they're doing, what works, what didn't work. So showing up, showing up last doesn't, or we weren't last, but showing up not first definitely has its benefits. Yeah, do yeah. put some pep in your step. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. And then the fist bump was just funny. That was just, I mean, I'm just so used to giving people fist bumps. It's just like part of my, part of my nature. And obviously she didn't want to give me a fist bump. That, I should have known that that was a culture shock from both parties and more. <laughs> <laughs> so then we get our clue and we're supposed to go to this market, find this elephant. We get back into our taxi. Turns out the trunk won't close. So then we have to find rope from another taxi to like literally rope down the trunk to make sure that it's not flapping while we're driving. Um, but that's resolved. We, we get to the market. We get to the market and figure, oh, we don't know what this next clue's gonna take us it could be local pay off our taxi let our taxi go don't think much of it and gregory finds the elephant we go to the elephant we do our thing uh but then when we're leaving the elephant gregory and you can see on camera it says to hide from morgan and lena uh what was what was your reason to say that well we were just we didn't know exactly where everybody was it was kind of early in the race it's just it's kind of easier not to be seen in those situations like it's one thing if we're like all trying to work together and, and figure it out. But, you know, we were kind of just leaving the, we were leaving the challenge. Um, we also, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's sometimes it's just easier not to be seen. <laughs> than, I like know. that logic. Because sometimes you see another team and they'll say, oh, you got here. Oh, where was it? Like, can you help us out? And you feel obligated to give the help. Not that we wouldn't have, but if we have the option to hide, why not? It, it happened. It happened. It was fine. Everyone was okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah we we yeah and and they didn't even show this during the race we won't get too into it because it's just a whole saga but we lost our taxi because we let it go and the clue said to keep the taxi first mistake gotta read the clue so we lost our taxi we saw morgan and lena and we tried to ask their taxi to try to get in contact with ours somehow we'd seen a lot of episodes before and that's happened before where like the taxi drivers have like a group chat of all the different taxi drivers so we were like hey our guy's bantu we really need our taxi like of course he didn't understand understand 100 percent of english but he understood that we needed to get our taxi back so he like took a photo of johnny and i just going like please like please can you get he took a photo of us and sent it to their little taxi driver group chat and our boy bantu came back that was the highlight of the week for me that was the highlight yeah because it was as soon as he sent that text that morgan and lena come up and they were like shoot shoot get away from our taxi and for good for good reason and they drive away and now we are taxiless phoneless like we're just hoping bancha 
comes through. Kanja gets that text and says, yo, I got to hit these boys up again. <laughs> and then we were like trying to like pay him off and he wouldn't take the money at first. And he was giving us a bunch of different rates. It was weird. So um, makes sense that he probably should have stuck around. But he came back, picked us up. Thank goodness. And we ended up choosing Pomelo's. We, we thought that, and now we can say it. Like, I, I guess neither of us have been exposed to that fruit. I knew it was like a fruit-ish kind of thing, but you, you read this stuff. You don't know how to pronounce it. Our bad. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and, and that kind of went back to our list as well because the, mm. uh, the grocery store challenge kind of felt like a needle in a haystack type deal, and those are always just kind of luck of the draw. The pomelo seemed like it was something actually physical, something you had more control over. So we decided it might take a little bit less time. Did it take less time? Who knows, but... Not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, same time. Yeah, we did get there though, and as you saw, Rob and Corey got there first, and so they like wiped out all of the pomelos in the visible river. And when we got there, it looked desolate, and so there's a lot of doubt. And you just like we got to make this call because you don't want to put too much time and sink it into a detour and find out you gotta you gotta bail. Um, I thought to like give it a shot. You know, you never know what's behind there while we were there. Um, and thankfully Gregory was, was down for that and it just lit up. Oh, so nice when that happens again, just a beauty of a moment on the show. And I'm glad they captured it. Yeah. Honest, honest. Cause that turn in that corner was huge. Cause we just saw no pomelos. Like there were, there were none cause they yeah. just cleared them out. So yeah, turn in that corner. And then I saw, um, who was it? I think Liam and Jeremy, one of their clips, they, they hit up gold mine there was one canal where it was truly i would say maybe like 60 70 of those little babies mm -hmm. so. yeah it was them yep, yep. yeah i remember when we first got there i thought we had to use our stick to to whack them down from the tree yeah <laughs> I, I think on the show there's another team who thought that would be what we needed to do so yeah because because yeah. when you first get there you just see nothing so mm -hmm. yeah glad, glad we turned the corner and saw those babies uh, oh and then the fall I can tell you exactly what happened with the fall. It was miscommunication. I was on the I was on the boat, and I started to kind of like float away because as you're as you're throwing the pomelos to the, your your partner, you know, like your boat's just kind of floating there, so you start to float away. And you know, I'm like Johnny, I'm 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 floating away here, and so he hands out the stick to me. I grab the stick. I start to pull it so I can pull myself in to the boat, and you know, he starts doing something else and lets go of the stick, and then I just. I just fall backwards, but I will say it was very nice. Thailand is very hot, very humid. That little dip was, was incredible. Except my white shoes got completely messed up. That's, that's yeah. The white shoes were, that was the big loss there. Yeah. I thought you wanted to be self-sufficient with the stick. I was like, Here, here's a stick, but <laughs> you make a good, feed, good, for good TV. <laughs> I mean, those early ads, those early ads, that was the wow moment. So <laughs> yeah. uh, we did our yeah. due diligence. And I even asked um, our camera guys because you know obviously we can mm -hmm. talk to the camera guys. And I was like, I was like, did you get the fall? And uh, I think we had Jamie at the time. He was like, I got the fall. <laughs> I, got like, the fall. I, got, I remember he said I even got a zoom in of the fall. <laughs> we all did our job. Yeah, yeah, we all did our job. 100%. And then at some point while we're carrying it, I cut my knee up pretty bad, and they like got some zoom in footage on it, but didn't make it. Maybe it's too too gruesome for the. For the folks, for the kids. For the kids. For the kids at home. Yeah. Kids at yeah. home. You, you can see a little bit when we're running up to the mat. Uh, but we also just had so much joy in our faces running up to that mat. Uh, just knowing we hit third again. Again. Like, you hear Victor and Jocelyn say, oh, we were first. Like, this means we can take it. Like, yes. But if you're third, that's like, okay, that means we can keep coming in third. And, and that's a pretty, pretty good place to be. Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing, and we talked about this afterwards but the everybody in the top six maintained their position like between yeah. one and six everybody came in the exact same position like it went like what was it uh i'm not even kidding. ah yeah 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 everyone oh. in the bottom six came in the same position except for liam yeremy and joel and garrett who swapped those two swapped everybody else same same Steve um, Lee, I, Steve, Steve. same same wow yeah it was a lot same I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. That's pretty insane. Hey, yeah. if, if it's going, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take, I'll take third place I'll any take, day. I'll, I'll take third place yeah. any day. Yes, yeah, so it felt good. It felt good to come in third. Oh, we also didn't know what place we were in. We we thought we might be in third because we knew that Victor and Jocelyn and Robin Corey had left like quite 
a while before us at the roadblock. Mm-hmm. But you never know. You never know. We didn't know how you know which one they chose. We didn't see anybody. So here we got third was was um, expected, but obviously you know you're always hoping for that little bit that you get first. That little like they got lost. What? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. First. <laughs> <Not first. laughs> oh well. Exactly. Yeah. And, then, and now we're on to the next. Yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Hopefully we get more airtime. Maybe we can do a whole episode just to dedicate it to the back. Uh, but yeah, just so much fun. So grateful for this. So grateful for the rest of the cast. And can't wait to talk about the next one, truly, genuinely. 90 minutes just isn't enough time. Who do with who do I thought I didn't think we'd been be in this position, but there's stuff left out. Yeah. I know. I know. Well, cool. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you on the flip. Yeah, I'll catch you on the flip. I'll see, I'll see you right after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Week three, baby.